Could man-made islands help prevent climate change? Scientists are saying there's a way to turn atmospheric carbon dioxide somehow into fuel. That would be a big deal. RT correspondent Natasha Sweet is live in Malibu with the details of this one. Wow, what a beautiful picture. It is indeed. Thank you so much, Rick. And, you know, a new study is touting that uh, massive artificial islands could essentially take pollution from the sea and turn it into fuel. And scientists say the only thing missing is a good plan to put it all together. A team of researchers from Norway and Switzerland are proposing the creation of millions of floating islands. But these aren't just any islands. Their main purpose is to convert atmospheric carbon dioxide into fuel. This would offset global emissions from the fossil fuels currently in the environment. The creation of solar methanol islands would have the capability to recycle carbon dioxide with no net emissions. Published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, these islands would utilize solar or wind energy powers for the production of hydrogen and the extraction of CO2 from seawater. The good news is scientists say most of the technology needed to build these facilities already exists. The plan to put it all together, they say, is the only thing missing. Creating these islands on a larger scale and in coastal regions would protect them from extreme weather, large waves, and of course, drastically reduce the need for fossil fuels. And in the study, researchers relate the floating islands to large-scale floating fish farms. Scientists propose using cells that would convert solar energy into electricity. This would be a way to power hydrogen production, enabling the extraction of CO2 from the seawater. And the study author says that the main hurdle here in making renewable energy mainstream is making it competitive with fossil fuels. Rick, I'll send it back to you. That's fantastic, Natasha. That's a great report. Nothing like giving folks some optimistic news especially when it comes to something like this and once again boy what a what a gorgeous setting there in Malibu that looks fantastic thanks again Natasha Sweet That's reporting right. to us there live from uh, Malibu bye I'm Rick Sanchez. You found us on YouTube, and that's awesome. But you know what? I'm also live every night at 7 and 8 p.m. Eastern on DirecTV and DISH and cable and satellite, the RT app, oh, and Pluto TV. I'll see you there.